No matter what role she's in, this lady is comedy gold. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Melissa McCarthy moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at the funniest moments of Melissa McCarthy's career so far. Yeah! <laughs> I wish there was blood. <laughs> Number 10, her Chris Farley impression, Saturday Night Live. Chris Farley is a legend we lost far too soon. If only for a brief moment, though, McCarthy managed to channel Farley's most iconic character. As part of the Saturday Night Live 40th anniversary special, she donned the persona of Matt Foley and dropped by Weekend Update. I am divorced, and I live in a van down by the river. From the costume to the aggressive voice inflection, McCarthy embodied everyone's favorite motivational speaker. In the same vein as Farley, McCarthy turned into a comedic wrecking ball, leaving the Weekend Update desk in shambles. And I am definitely dancing with you! As McCarthy, quote, motivated Amy Poehler and Jane Curtin, we like to think that Chris was smiling from his van down by the river up in the sky. Number 9. Suki's Clumsiness, Gilmore Girls Having become one of the silver screen's most bankable leading ladies, it's easy to forget that McCarthy rose to popularity playing Suki St. James on Gilmore Girls. As Lorelai Gilmore's bestie, McCarthy displayed the makings of an up-and-coming talent with loads of potential. While Suki is a great pal, and even better chef, she's also a bit of a klutz. During Richard's birthday dinner, Trix is quick to point out a tear in Suki's uniform. While we never get to see what exactly caused the rip, Suki does her best to recreate the incident through miming. Oh, well, I... and the, the chop flew, so I lunged, and then the floor slipped, and then... Whoo, and I just... flipped, you know? Her over-the-top explanation only raises more questions, but it also showcases McCarthy's knack for physical humor. Number 8. Her Spanx Incident, The Ellen DeGeneres Show from one wardrobe malfunction to another, McCarthy got into a tight situation after putting on a pair of Spanx. Never afraid to poke fun at herself, she had no qualms about sharing the embarrassing story with Ellen DeGeneres. Heading to work while carrying several bags, McCarthy received raised eyebrows aplenty upon encountering a couple of fence builders. And so I come down the stairs and I see the guys, I'm like, hey, good morning, guys, and they're just like... <laughs> At first, she wasn't sure why they had such shocked faces. The fact that they wouldn't look at her from the forehead down caused further confusion. McCarthy eventually realized that her sweater was riding up and her pants were down, revealing the flesh-colored Spanx. And, I'm, and I've, seen, I've been like shifting back and forth. I'm like, you know what I mean? And I'm turning around like, as if this wasn't enough, I was like, you better check this out. It's a real-life moment worthy of a Paul Feig movie. Speaking of which, number seven, drunk dancing, the heat. The success of a buddy cop movie all stems from the chemistry between the leads. In The Heat, Melissa McCarthy's hard-hitting Mullins and Sandra Bullock's by-the-book Ashburn make for a winning combination. Hey, I'm not into you. Your breast is invading my space. While these two law enforcers get off to a rocky start, they begin to bond after sharing one too many drinks. Their drunken escapade includes taping their faces and covering a bar fly with nuts. You're covered in nuts. You're having a bad dream. Of course, the highlight is a dance sequence, which sparks a striptease and a conga line. In the midst of the frenzy, however, there's still a little room for slow dancing. And what better way to cap off their wild night than with a toast? To this place. This place. Number 6. Lip Sync Battle – The Tonight Show Starring Jimmy Fallon if you thought McCarthy's dancing was hilarious, get a load of her singing chops. Well, her lip-syncing chops. Jimmy Fallon was given a run for his money when he went head-to-head -head with McCarthy in the ultimate lip-sync battle. Fallon got off to a strong start with his brand new pair of roller skates. However, McCarthy came firing back with a rambunctious rap routine, leaving The Tonight Show host practically speechless. No matter how many caps I break, there with a break, who's sending me? You never want to know. Jimmy stepped it up in round two as he got passionate with a pillow. Yet nothing could top McCarthy's Colors of the Wind finale, complete with a forest background and a series of props flying at her. In a circle, in a hoop that never ends. Good thing she was wearing goggles. We need to sing with all the voices of the mountain. Paint with all the colors of the 
Number 5. Emmy Training Day 63rd Primetime Emmy Awards On the heels of Bridesmaids and Mike and Molly, 2011 was a breakout year for Melissa McCarthy. This made her a natural choice to announce the 63rd Primetime Emmy nominations. To prep for the event, McCarthy tracked down Joel McHale for advice. While initially reluctant, the community star would teach McCarthy all about being emotionless on stage, boxing with the teleprompter, and doing his demeaning chores. Oh God. Come on, get her! I can't try him! Get her! It made for an unforgettable training montage, even if McHale couldn't remember any of McCarthy's previous screen credits. What was that Anne Hathaway movie, the someone getting married? What was that called? Uh, Rachel getting Rachel, married? Rachel getting married! Yeah, you were so funny in that. Thank, thank you, Joel. Coincidentally, McCarthy's own name was announced on Emmy nominations morning, which would translate into a win for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series. Bye! Isn't he great? Love you, Joel! Number 4. The Principal's Office This is 40. When young Sadie is harassed online, her mother tells off the boy who's been bullying her daughter. Her father only makes matters worse after confronting the boy's mother, Catherine, played by McCarthy. As Debbie and Pete plead innocent to the principal, Catherine is unable to hold back a tirade of insults, threats, and foul language, dissing the principal in the process. Bullshit hair! And I'm glad your husband died. Because you're a f***ing asshole. He probably killed himself. McCarthy ad-libbed so many classic lines that they couldn't all fit into one scene. Fortunately, that's what we have credit scenes for. Probably, I'm gonna start with Karen Carpenter's head, I'm gonna rip her head off, and I'm gonna drink her blood. Leaving her co-stars in stitches, McCarthy somehow remained in character without breaking, until the very end. Even when reduced to a cameo, she still stands out above the rest. Number 3. McCarthy vs. Statham – Spy Melissa McCarthy and Jason Statham are perhaps the strangest action duo since John Travolta and Nicolas Cage faced off. Your hand off my boobs! I'm saving you! It totally works, however, as McCarthy becomes an unlikely super spy and Statham satirizes his tough guy image. McCarthy plays Susan Cooper, a CIA analyst who goes from a comfy desk job to the line of duty. Statham's Rick Ford feels that Susan isn't well suited for this mission, prompting him to list off his laundry list of badass credentials appeared convincingly in front of Congress as Barack Obama. In blackface? That's not appropriate. Although Ford talks big, Susan isn't afraid to call him out and stand up for herself. I got 18 months in intensive care for radiation poisoning. I got six months without eyesight. Well, everybody you've ever loved has gone down. Mm, really? Everybody that you love has been gunned down and just you survived? Did you ever think that maybe everybody you love is not being killed, but they're killing themselves because they can't stand to be around you? Aside from being equally hysterical, both characters prove themselves to be gifted in the field and in bed. Ah! Ah, stop screaming, you loved it. Number 2. Sean Spicer – Saturday Night Live During his time as White House press secretary, Sean Spicer was frequently criticized for making false statements and maintaining an all-around hostile attitude. So Melissa McCarthy pulled no punches when she impersonated the political aide on SNL. Begin today by apologizing on behalf of you to me! Arguably even more brutal than Alec Baldwin's take on President Trump, McCarthy portrayed Spicer as a hot-headed bully who was never afraid to break out a fire extinguisher or a super soaker. McCarthy's version of Spicer even managed to be intimidating while wearing a bunny suit. It would be really great if the nitpickers could try to see the big picture and didn't solely focus on every little slur and lie I say. Many Americans were relieved when Spicer resigned from his position, but we hope this doesn't mean McCarthy will be retiring her uproarious impression of him. Are you okay? Come here. <laughs> Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I literally thought that you had to go like that with your legs out, and then I guess you laid down and like scooted in. I'm sure. Like, Date, huh? Well, that's a big word, isn't it? Big words. That make a little man seem like a big man? Guess what? We can throw big words. So we have data of our own. Melissa, now the trees need you. Number 1. The Dolphin Story – Bridesmaids McCarthy reached another level of fame with her Oscar-nominated performance in Bridesmaids. 
As the outrageous Megan, McCarthy stole several scenes, all of which could have easily topped this list. Uh, 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 get it? We just had to single out her introduction at Lillian's engagement party, though. Breaking the ice, Megan tells Annie about how she busted her legs falling off a cruise ship. Took a hard, hard, violent fall, kind of pinball down. Down in the deep blue sea, Megan apparently had a telepathic encounter with a dolphin that stared into her soul. We had a connection that I don't even know if I can ex Oh, jeez. Hey, shut my mouth. Then just when it seems like this exchange couldn't possibly get any more awkward, Megan swears to climb an old man like a tree, solidifying her status as our favorite character. I'm glad he's single, because I'm going to climb that like a tree. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.